Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Snake Pit Live. Live, 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 live. We are, live. in fact, coming straight from a snake pit live to your homes. Uh, we have these fantastic backups here to uh, shield your eyes from the horrors of all the snakes we have behind us. But uh, it's that's a real just nightmare. the reality we live in. <laughs> uh, my name is Curtis. I'm Chris. Hey, I'm Aileen. Uh, um, and if you've tuned into any of our past tournaments or broadcasts, you you might recognize us. Um, but <laughs> uh, here we are today trying a new program out. Uh, so um, if you've been following the uh, last <laughs> half week or so, uh, you know that looks like we're having some uh, technical difficulties. That isn't uh, Aileen. Aileen. I know it might be confusing. Well, this, is, hey. this is not Aileen. <laughs> This is this is still Brad, but I can. Streaming could, life has just changed you. It's okay. If you speak, I'll I could speak, just. You just open your mouth and move it, and it'll look like it's me the whole time. We're Perfect. Perfect. Hey, so yeah. Let's run right. with this. Fix. There we go. We're good. We're good. All right. There it is. Go. Hey, hey. Right, so Sorry, Chris. What were you saying? We <laughs> uh, so this is a little bit different from our uh, our past broadcasts. Uh, we don't actually have any. It's kind of strange. We're this is Snake Pit Live, but this is the first time we don't have any live games to broadcast. Uh, what we're actually doing today is uh, kind of doing a deep dive in the different divisions that we've had running, uh, and going to take a look at some of the top snakes in each category and kind of see how they're positioning themselves to, uh, you know, get placements and seating and qualification for that final tournament that we're having uh, the end of the uh, two weeks. And it's probably worth noting that like it's definitely not too late. Too. It's, it's just the beginning if you have any friends who have been talking about how they want to get into coding and like i wish i had some time to get into coding now is the time just send them the link to uh stay home and code uh for maybe the rookie category uh there's tons of awesome streams uh showing you how to program in like javascript and python and um they'll have a web server up in like an hour if you go check out the tutorials so uh and, get them uh, in there no, they have no excuse anymore like exactly. what, what else are you gonna do come on um, all right, so if I could just get, uh, I'm going to start a little screen share action here. Um, let me get that up and running. So you can do this yourself from home. Uh, you can go to, go to the play.battlesnake.com sites, uh, go to the stay home and code uh, link, and you'll end up on this lovely page right here. Uh, got lots of info about what's going on. You can check out the schedule, charity sponsors, FAQ. Uh, if you want to donate like Brad was talking about, you can do that right here as well. Uh, but the part that we're interested in today is down here in the league divisions. So if you watch previous broadcasts, you're used to this rookie division and you're used to this veteran division. Uh, what we have new, which is kind of fun and exciting, is uh, this parent and child division. So uh, yeah, with, with the times right now, uh, everyone's kind of staying home with their family. Kids are doing school from home. Uh, so it's kind of a great time for kids to kind of get some exposure to coding, programming, and Battlesnake is a fantastic way to do that. So we've actually made a division purely for that situation. Um, and it's exactly that. If you're a parent and a child and you're teaching someone to program, get yourself registered for this category. Um, Take a break from Frozen. Yes, <laughs> yes exactly. Um, so we have four entrants so far, which is fantastic. And uh, as you can see, we have a ELO rating system going on here. Uh, we have two snakes duking it out for the top, top spot and uh, two others uh, joining in for the competition here. Um, should we just start from the top down, Chris? What do you think? Yeah, let's just go through all of them. Yeah, these um, definitely right. have seen some movement in the last day. I looked, When we were looking at this yesterday, Team Pixel was right on top. Yeah, this definitely we we're seeing some good head-to-head. -head. Yeah, so we have uh, yeah, totally. dra Dragon in a Library, uh, Father and Son Team, more info to follow. Um, let's take a look here, see what snakes they have. They have a Ragra and Gold Snake. Uh, Ragra is running with Java. Looks like they're sticking with Java and DigitalOcean for all their uh, technologies there. That's cool. Very cool. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's pull a game up and uh, check out check out what's going on there. Uh, Lots of stuff wins away. recently. Look at all that. Um, all right, I'm gonna go. That's probably them. Let's Rock check out that to top. game four. Yeah, let's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. can you go go back to oh. that page and just show them the uh, that the movement. Uh, sure. I wanted to try to pick one where they don't see who won or lost. I might try to do that for the future ones. Right. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so this was a this was a big big moving one. This is head to head with a uh, second place team Pixel. And uh, let's uh, let's get into the action here and uh, see how this one played out. Um, so oh. Dragon in the Library is yellow. Yeah. Team Pixel, oh. uh, the pixelated snake. Yeah, yeah. 
Ooh. Ooh. Both, both very aggressive snakes. They're both kind of going neck and neck for food for a while there. Team Pixel took the edge, but uh, yeah, just got caught in the corner, forced back in on themselves, and uh, yeah, collided with their own body down in the bottom right corner. Uh, really wasn't interesting. Enough for like, to get out. It wasn't enough room nope. to escape. It looked like Team Pixel was almost going to starve Dragon in the library out for a little, couple turns there, but not quite. But Dragon Library playing a little bit safer, not going for the food, but staying alive, as is the most important part about Battlesnake. Uh, so they're looking, I mean, they're in first place. They're looking like the front runner right now. Uh, but I am interested in checking out this Team Pixel, the uh, team we have sitting in uh, second place here that we just saw in that game. The yeah, Team Pixel's neck. been around for a few years now. I think this is yeah. their third year. Nice, yeah, they have a picture. Right nice. Yeah. That's actually them at Battlesnake. I think That's last fantastic. year. Look, they yeah, got the same right. shirts that we're same wearing. Same t-shirts. Oh, nice. Very fashionable yeah. crew. Yeah. And yeah, we actually have the whole history down here. So they competed in the, the Winter Classic, uh, registered in Stay Home and Code, and very clearly by the picture, we're in the actual live event last year. Um, so they, they've been around a, been around the block a few times. And uh, let's check out what snakes they have put together right now. So they currently have one snake registered, pixelated, uh, hosted on Heroku, written with Python. And it's a continuation from 2017. They've been they've been working on this guy, so that's 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 pretty cool. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah, this, this is a good way to do it. Should be doing it down here. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Uh, Game is let's, let's do another head to head with uh, just dragon in the library again and again and again. All right, we don't actually know who won this one, so I'm, uh, I'm interested here. Let's just, let's just jump into the action. Let's uh, let's hop right into this. Yeah, let's one. take a look. Uh, another potential, again, based on the current standings, possibly a sneak peek of what the uh, parent-child category final could look like two weeks from now. Um, Still a lot of time. But... Yeah. Oh, Team Pixel Ooh. taking it that time. So it looks, looks like they are uh, trading uh, trading games with each other, that's for sure. Want to go back and see what the kill was there? Yeah. Um, so... Watch out for those corners. Six pixel know that they're yeah, they got the size advantage and they just mm -hmm. went aggressive. That's uh So if you so I guess the, the learning here is if, if you have the size advantage, go in for the kill. Yeah, you can force that head to head. Um so just try to close the distance and like in this situation here, dragon in a library can't risk going to the left or down because they will lose the head to head. So they're forced right. Team Pixel kind of knows that and just continues to uh, corner them. And Look I guess they go right there. Um, I, I'm, not, I, I'm not mistaken, though, right? They did trade games in the two that we watched, right? Like it was Dragon in a Library. Yeah, time. I believe so. Yeah. 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 The last game, Team Pixel kind of got itself in a little corner and then Ouroboros. Yeah. So it's looking like a matchup to watch. Uh, if you're able to tune in for the parent and child uh, division in the tournament, uh, these are probably two teams that you're going to see. Uh, you know, moving on in the tournament, uh, making some names for themselves. Uh, so this is a kind of nice sneak preview. But again, it's very early in the events. There's lots of time for other teams to move in. And uh, let's take a look at what those other teams uh, could be. Uh, let's go back here. So in third place right now, we have Roger Dodger. Um, Roger Dodger. Quite a ways behind, but lots of time to make up that ground. Let's check out, uh, check out their team. Team Pixel has had a three-year head start. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> All right, so oh, they actually made a uh, AWS Sage Makers. So that's like the machine oh. learning uh, snake. Now Very is cool. the is the Sa the Sage Maker tutorial has is up already for people to watch, right? Yeah, it's it's been live for for a little while, I believe. Uh, right. And yeah, AWS Sage Maker, uh, cool. Yeah, uh, it sounds like they're also doing a live stream on Thursday, so uh, definitely check out the schedule and uh, watch that if you're interested in. Making a, mach a snake using machine learning, pretty cool. And then you can tell all your friends you're a machine learning developer. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and all your future, future potential all employers. Those children, yes. All those children. Yeah. When you're writing your tiny resume, I'm assuming yeah. children have tiny resumes, and then yeah. just add <laughs> machine learning right in there. When you apply to the next grade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's yes. That's how we that's did how it, it works, right? right? Back in the day. Yeah. Still, still, you apply. Um, all right, let's get a, let's break a game up here. Uh, so we've got Aquabots and Roger Dodger, which were the, the third and fourth positions there. Uh, they look pretty close to score, so it looks like they might have a good rivalry going on as well. Let's uh, jump into one of these games. Uh, all right, we've got Aquabots in the uh, light green, Roger Dodger in the dark green. Uh, let's jump into this one. 
Roger Ooh, Dodger. Springy tail. Look oh, at that, that food. Tr- tried and tested strategy. Oh. Chicken oh, snake sucks. strategy. Yeah. Good old yeah. chicken snaking. They have half of it down. They got the chicken snake part down, but they don't have the like, let's go get one piece of food every 80 turns yes. part down. Yeah. Right. Lots of time to get that out of though. Lots of time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Aquabots, uh, I was kind of watching Roger Dodger there. Um, but I guess we're going to take a look at Aquabots next here. Um, so yeah, yeah so, so we can so, see. We can also see if Roger Dodger has changed their strategy. Yeah, that's true. Like, Are they starving? More, more, Are they uh, still game. a hungry snake? So uh, Aquabots, the winner of that last game there. Uh, Dad and son learning Python together. Nice. You'd love awesome. to see it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they have Alphabet as their current snake. I'm going to assume it's a Python snake, even though it's not tagged as Python. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get another Roger Dodger Aquabots game up here. Let's get this more recent one. And uh, let's, let's start the rivalry now. Jump it starts the today. Here. It starts yeah. today. All right. Uh, so we're looking to see if Roger Dodger has pushed any updates beyond the original chicken snake strategy. I mean, again, it's a great strategy, but let's see if they uh, they will get some food here, or if Aquabots is going to take it take it again. Let's find out. Oh, they Roger Dodger is definitely. Whoa. Doing leaps and bounds. Look at that. Leaps and bounds from the last game. All right. Some strong improvements here. So it seems like they're pretty aggressively chasing food down now. Uh, Aquabots, mm-hmm. a little bit more, a little bit more defensive, a little bit more passive. Uh, what happened there? Oh, that was just a just just made the wrong call there. There was some space over there, but not enough space to go or not enough to move out. So they, they got to get, they're at the point now where they're doing like, they're checking a few spaces beyond the head, but not far enough and not thinking far enough in the future. Uh, uh, definitely some time to, to review that. But uh, yeah, that's the situation where you're at kind of 50, 50, unless you're looking really far ahead. They made the wrong call there. And uh, Roger Dodger takes this one. So uh, one to watch. Yeah. shaken up, you know? Uh, and that's we'll have to just the, keep our eye on the leaderboard in the next uh, couple days here. It yeah. seems like they're putting the work in. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll see yeah. some movement. Yeah, and again, that is so. That's the brand new parent-child category. Uh, a lot of the other categories have a lot of past entrants that are rejoining and whatnot. This is the first time we've had this category. So, if you know anyone that's interested, could be a fit. Um, get them in there. We're looking to get as many entrants as possible for the tournaments happening uh, two Fridays from now. Um, and yeah, maybe start up a rivalry of your own, you know, who knows? Yeah, go knock on your neighbor's door and then stand six feet away and then tell them that you challenge them to a battle snake duel. <laughs> so I challenge you. To Grassroots yeah, campaign. Just, just run through your neighborhood <laughs> screaming be, that actually. Yes, yeah, that's the safest route. I like it. Yeah. Or just get pamphlets and put them at every door. Like mm. you've, been, you've been challenged. You've been challenged. Oh, yeah. we should yeah. make special like little pamphlets that you can print out with your snake's name. You've been challenged. Uh, all right, I think we're ready to hop into the uh, the next division over here. This is the uh, tried and tested uh, rookie division. Um, this is the go to spot for um, non parent child combos that are uh, trying out battle snake for their first time. Uh, maybe they like. They've played around with a little bit, but they've never really competed in a tournament or really taken it to that next level. Um, this is the chance to duke it out with people of equal experience and have some uh, have some quality matches. Um, most of these snakes we see here are going to be new. They aren't going to be ones that we've seen uh, from uh, previous tournaments, of course. Uh, so not expecting to see a lot of history, but let's try to make some history this week uh, by taking a look at some of these teams at the top of the leaderboard. Nice, nice. Very nice. Transition. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Excellent segue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just reading up the actually, teleprompter here. I barely <laughs> recognize any of these names. Yeah. yeah, this is this is a huge movement from when we looked last night. This is really tight, actually. When you the first top ten are pretty tight. I think these are all pretty new. Yeah, we have yeah, nine teams over three thousand ELO right now. Uh yeah, like what is this? Like thirty eight between the first two. Even less between the next two. Yeah, let's just let's check out uh, Extagion here. Extagon. Extagion. Extagon. 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 <laughs> do you guys have the Twitch chat open? Are you able to see if I? Uh, I do have the Twitch chat open. Oh yeah. Is uh, anyone able to correct me? Uh, uh, all right. Well, it's wait. Wh- what are we gonna say? Extagion. Like hex- go with... hexagon, but extagon. I think it's. I think it's extagon. I think that's what it's supposed to be. I think it's yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm Sold. 
Yeah, sold them. Sold All right. Uh, so, wrap it up. Uh, so, so software engineer from Southern Oregon. Snake is written in Rust. Sweet. Ooh. Uh, very cool. Very new. Very trendy language right now. Um, using so a hot tree, right now. So hot right now. <laughs> using a tree search approach. Uh, yeah, again, that's another great thing for Biosnake is literally any language works for it. I mean, potentially some of them are better than others. Um, so yeah, use it to try a new language. Use it to try something uh, new if you've uh, done some programming. You want to try Rust out? Want to try Go out? You know, build a battle snake. <laughs> yeah, I think there's even a Go tutorial, isn't there? Uh, I think so. There's, yeah. I don't think there's a Rust gonna... starter snake. We know. Ooh, that's a good question. We need to some people on the ground building Rust starter snakes. There Rust will be I... in like 24 hours now that we've yeah. said it. Cool. So uh, Exagon has uh, five snakes together right now. He's tagged three of them. So he's done Rust and Elixir. Um, wonder what these two are. So he's clearly uh, clearly trying some uh, trying some different stuff out. So that's cool to see. Very cool. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's hop into a game here. Um, do we want to do a free for all? Oh, yeah, let's, let's see one with four. Yeah, let's. All right, let's go. This one's over 300. 300. Oh, let's get this mega game down here. Done. All right, uh, bookworm in the purple, get bisect in the bottom middle, I'm like brown. I don't know why do I even try to say the colors. <laughs> Samaritan in the mid right, and venom in the top left. Let's jump into it. Here we go. You know, I would call that color rust. Just yes. saying. Ooh, ooh. So yeah, all right. Yeah, which snake is his? I was just about to. I think it's. I think it's venom, but we'll have to go. I, I do remember Venom as well. Are you in the chat? Oh, Extagon? <laughs> oh, it is Extagon. It's Extagon. Yeah. yeah. Extagon. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice. So I was wrong at first, but oh, nice Ooh. bookworm. Oh, look at that. Look at that head to head collision. 20, 26 to 25. Right, right down to the wire there. Ooh. Bookworm had him anyway, but. Yeah, even got the one food there to put it to one. Oh, and then he goes down instead of up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he knew he had the heads ahead. So just, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, cool. And so I think that what that was Venom. Should we jump back? It's going to take a long time to go back. I think so. Um, you can like skip using the URL. I'm not going to get into that right now, though. Uh, cool. So a little sneak preview of it was Venom, right? Yes, it was Venom. Venom. Uh, yeah. So, so not Exagon's best game there, but they're very clearly doing something right because they are on the top of the leaderboard right now. But many contenders nipping at their heels. We got Dennis in number two here. Uh, Dennis. 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 Uh, he's okay. or they are an exchange student who was planning on joining Battlesnake in Victoria. They're home in Victoria, or they're home at the in the Netherlands now. Very cool. Oh, uh, but they still have their Battlesnake code, so I'd like to join this alternative competition awesome wow what a great write-up we're so happy to have you dennis uh yeah i hope the the scheduling is working out for you a bit of a time difference there uh nine nine hours yeah i I know that uh i actually did this like today so noon in victoria is 9 p.m in the netherlands oh so this is nighttime this is the night so add so add seven hours to that they're at like four in the morning when this broadcast started so okay well they should be watching I'm yeah, they should do <laughs> exactly. Who's not, who's not up at 4 a.m.? Where's the commitment, Dennis? Jeez. Uh, all right, let's take a look at that. Up in the chat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, working with Python here. Uh, let's just jump into a game. Uh, should, we, should we go see a winning game? Oh, I want to see a winning This game. one's actively running right <gasps> what? now. What? Let's get in there. Let's hurry up let's and do it. Let's check it out. Uh, so Dennis is who we were just checking out from the Netherlands. Uh, let's see how they're doing in this the this Black actual snake. live game, Snake Pit Live for real, guys. For real, live, 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 live. live. Oh, it's a good Ooh, game. Dennis Ooh. is just Dennis chomping is all up. all his friends in the Snake Pit. Oh, it's Big so much more advantage. stressful when it's this speed. Yes, this Dennis. is very exciting. <laughs> well, let's see if it's. Oh, okay. Ooh. There we go. Dennis uh, takes it. Nicely done. So, so it killed uh, two snakes that round. Yeah. Sly on dice. Lost head to head with Dennis. Yeah, here they just uh, did not have enough room. Dennis mm. knew to cut them off. And uh, yeah, that's why they're in second place and looking to move up. Awesome. Uh, all right. That's, uh, Strong uh, showing. Very, do a, very exciting. I'll do top three. I like, the, I like the name Polka Dotted Goggles. Did this move just while we're watching it? 
polka dotted goggles was in fourth and now I think, they're in third. I think you're right. I think polka dotted goggles moved into this third. Is, this is really live. This is the livest. Astute. Maybe it was that Very game astute. that made the difference. <laughs> it might it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, again, Steak Pit Live, it is live. People are moving, shifting, making moves, trying to climb that ladder. Uh, let's check out polka dotted goggles here who had just made it in third pl- into third place. Is that so we just yeah, saw them. just bumped awesome. up. They were in first last night when I looked. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's a lot of this is a very exciting division. The rookie mm-hmm. division is volatile. Volatile, it's a good word. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, sugar, spice, and everything nice. Uh, let's check out what uh, I should really be looking at their past tournaments. Let me just do that real quick. Um, yeah, so they were. Oh, yeah, look at this winter classic. Yeah. International virtual. Which one was that? What is the international virtual? Yeah. We weren't invited to that. We weren't. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, move Too on. Cool for move us. On Whatever. Now. Fine. We don't want to go. Uh, so, uh, polka dotted uh, goggles has six stakes here: grenade, kettle, cupcake, wubba lubba dub dub, antimatter, uh, and work in progress. Uh, they're not telling what the languages are, but they're saying that they're hosting on Heroku. Wubba lubba dub dub is public. If you want to. Uh, you know, get some competition going there. But uh, let's take out one of these recent games. Let's jump into uh, this guy here. Why not? 50 eh? moves. All right, polka dotted goggles, the one to watch right now. In purple. Let's check it out. Ooh, Whoa. Killing right off the bat. Yes. Oh, but then take it oh. out early. Pick the, pick the wrong game for polka dotted goggles there. Uh, I'm going to actually reload that and find out what happens yeah. to polka dotted. So, yeah, pause oh, space. Back pause. It up. There we go. Back it up. Reverse. Boop, 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 boop. So oh, I think it was because of a. F- uh-huh. oh, oh, yeah, they tried to. Uh, they, they didn't account for the uh, head-to-head. They should have. They should have known, and they should have gone. Uh, gone to the right there. But uh, again, rookie division. Uh, it's a very volatile di- division. Um, lots of room for improvement. Lots of room to move up. And Polka Dog is doing great so far, but definitely. Uh, Got to check for that head-to-head size difference, you know. And can't yeah, I mean that's a, that's a tough it. one to 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 gauge. You know, sometimes it, you know you're looking in every direction to see if you can go in there. Looks like you can, but yeah, you got to account for uh, potential snakes moving into those squares as well. Snake Pliskin just uh, knew it had free reign there, so just kept on moving. All right, uh, that's polka dotted goggles. Let's uh, let's go jump back here. You want to look at one more in the rookie? I know. I think we're ready to jump into the jump into the veteran category here. So what do you think, guys? Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, ready? let's see if it's moved ready as much that. as the rookie. All right. My so yeah, we yeah. So we, we checked this last night, and uh, in the top three, there was only one snake that wasn't a newcomer. Uh, it was the Swedish Vikings, if I remember correctly, and then two new snakes. Uh, I'm kind of like playing this out a little bit here, but I checked in today, and. The newcomers have all been hedged out. We have three very uh, well-known snakes uh, here that have taken taken control of the uh, top of the standings here. That's right. Uh, I think Huntail and On Solo were in the top three. They definitely yep. were. Yeah. 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 Uh, but and yeah, so Swedish Vikings was top three as of last night. But Meter Snake, uh, man. I mean, I still haven't learned the name yet. I don't know if I why I haven't. Uh, but maybe Chris, could you could you maybe intro this? I can uh, take a stab here? at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, Niedersachsische Kreuzata. Niedersachsische Kreuzata. Oh, oh, that's what I said. That's what. Yeah, I'm. Uh, guys, I'm probably wrong. I'm. We're all learning here. We're trying to figure pronounce, it out. You didn't pronounce the uh, beer emoji. Beer, beer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Niedersachsische, <laughs> Niedersachsische Kreuzata. Cheers. I think, that, I think it means you're supposed to take a drink at the end of it. You know. Hmm. Right. It's not, it's not beer, but you know, basically the. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally normal. That's yeah, yeah, a normal yeah, yeah, amount yeah, yeah. of water to be drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, stay, stay hydrated, folks at home. Stay hydrated, know. everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. drinking water. That's what's... <laughs> Maybe not little, that much water. There's a little time increment. Is there on one it. that says, like, at this point, if you drank this much today, then you should probably go to a hospital? Yeah. Because I feel like you can drink too much water. You know that, This right? has P written on various <laughs> points in it. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's take a look at some of these teams here. Again, these are ones we know. I think we'll do a little spotlight on Huntail and on Solo because they were no top three yesterday. The whole time. 
Um, no, no, I think we're, uh, oh, is it fully gone? No, no, we can oh, see oh, our, oh, we don't, we our don't hilarious water yeah. talk. Okay. Uh, nice, nice. No, it's all good. It's all good. We'll show you I'll, show, I'll show my water bottle off at the end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let's jump into this here. So Swedish Vikings, if you watch the Winter Classic, you know who they are. They second place two of the weeks. They were a strong contender in the final tournament. Um, yeah, they were duking it out with Nieder Snake like every other week pretty much. Uh, they're from Stockholm, Sweden. Likes to program snakes. Listen to Ramstein. Ramstein? I like know this band. I'm just like, anyway, I'm giving up on that. Yeah, I and, feel uh, like play, I knew it until you said it. <laughs> and, and play paddle. Ramstein. 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 Uh, Ramstein. Mm, and, uh, play, and play paddle is that like ping pong is paddle. Paddle. Someone google paddle is it like uh, is it a swedish swedish game yeah I... i'm gonna look up paddle right now yeah please please do share your screen and google that uh it is a racket oh, yeah, sport I, I can actually like, a do racket that. sport mm -hmm. i feel like we should be wildly googling things <laughs> yeah, oh look at that you told, you told me that so yes yeah, racket sport. <laughs> okay, sweet. yeah I was joking. Right. Oh, that was an epic troll <laughs> troll opportunity. <laughs> Another way. Oh god. Um, but we're good. We're clear. Uh, all right. We're so fine, looking at the fine. snakes here. Uh, it's a real so, thing. Yeah, uh, Swedish Vikings. Uh, Nagini and how do you? Do you? I'm gonna just guess at Prutze. Prutze. Like pizza, but Prutze. Yeah. Um, I think that's a like direct translation. Yes. Yeah. Nice. It looks like Java is the uh, weapon of choice here. Nice. Um, yeah, let's hop into a game here. Yeah, let's get a game with Neater Huntail. Ooh, Ooh that's yeah. exciting. This yes. is currently running, actually. So let's uh, Snake Pit Live. Live, Snake live, pit. live, 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 live. All right, so uh, Neater, Swedish Vikings, we know those two teams. Huntail was top three as well as of last night, fighting to get back in there right now. Let's uh, let's see how they do. Ooh, Ooh Neater Snake down early, taken out by Swedish Vikings. Wow, lost the head to head. Yeah. All right, we've got Huntail and Swedish. Head Huntail's one of our new right snakes. Here. I like to think that Swedish Vikings like put some custom code in to like try to Ooh. take out. Oh, nice. Swedish Vikings takes it to try to take out a Neater Snake every chance that they have. Just yeah. <laughs> sort of revenge from the Winter Classic. Just look for Neater Snake. Go for Neater Snake. Yeah. Um, but very clearly doing doing well for themselves there. Takes the, takes the victory. Um, and they were very close before, so they might actually have taken first with that. No, they are in first. Yes. Right. I'm really good. I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, but look at, oh, they've, they've widened the gap, though. Nicely done. Oh, yeah. yeah. But look at that. Look at the gap between, uh, yeah. you know, one and two are just really pulling ahead. Yeah. Just duking uh, it out. But while we're talking about one and two, let's just dive right into uh, to Neater Snake here. Uh, spicy and icy. Uh, you all know them. Blight Gussend. So, how did I say that right? I don't know. Are we just going to read it. out whatever anyone writes here? <laughs> yeah, that's 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 what I we're know. doing. Tune in yeah. live to yeah. the Snake Pit while we yeah. read out whatever you want. Yeah, and just get banned um, from Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if it's not in English, I don't know what I'm saying, so I'll just read it. Wait, don't. Hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I should stop doing Maybe, that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and and or Google it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, live live googling. Um, Probably. Here, yeah, the maybe. Snake Pit we'll Live see. Googling. Just drop, just drop any URLs in here, and I'll click through them. And uh, we'll just click on it. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Um, so let's take a look at uh, some of the members here. Oh, actually, sorry. We should do a quick recap of who they are. If you know them, you, mm -hmm. you, if you've been watching at all, you know them. Uh, they were first place two weeks in the Winter Classic. They were the eventual winner of the entire thing. Uh, yeah, very impressive. This was the team that um, wrote like a master's level paper on uh like competitive programming for battlesnake it was like a adversarial uh search algorithm very cool if you, if you haven't checked it out hopefully could someone, someone can throw it in twitch chat or if you look through our social media is there somewhere as well uh very cool stuff um and then yeah registered again in the veteran category here today but they had, they were at previous live events weren't they were they i, I want to say that they were or they were at least planning to come yes but they they the because I remember we learned how to say Neater Snake at the live event. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. We did. Yes, yeah, yes, so, yeah, yeah. They hundred percent were. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. We cool. have good memories. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. My teleprompter's broken, so I'm just I'm throwing. Oh it off. no! So the 
this. Yeah, totally off script. Now. Somebody in the Twitch chat said said something like Twitch plays Google, but that just gave me the idea of Twitch plays Battlesnake. Yeah, we we we've talked about that. That would be super cool. We'd have to like like uh, up the latency on it and give more of a window for people to get moves in. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, so if anyone from chat, if you guys, slash if uh, Chris and Aileen, did you guys try the SageMaker Xbox controller thing at any point? No. 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 So yeah. So so yeah. The AWS SageMaker team, they uh, they like like took a Raspberry Pi, put the whole like Battlestick engine on it, and like hooked it up to like an Xbox controller, and you can actually play with an X- Xbox controller against any Battlesnakes you want on like a live live TV, like it's a game console. Really. Hey. Yeah, I have yeah, to uh, see how I how I stack up against Neater Snake. Yeah, um, so there's like a little bit of latency because they have to do that thing we talked about where you have to give a bit of a window for the moves to get in, and you kind of sure. have to like make sure you're holding direction down ahead of time because it kind of buffers. But like they did a really good job of like having it feel quite smooth, quite responsive, and uh, um, you yeah, try your hand come, against the best. Yeah, um, coming to PlayStation Five, I'm sure. Uh, just uh, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was it was super fun. It, it was at a they bring it out to a couple of conferences and yeah, I don't know if they're planning to do anything further with it, but it was very cool. But uh, yeah, they could we could totally take what they did and hook it up to Twitch and Twitch plays Battlesnake. You know? Yeah, you can get you, you even get like four like separate streams going and have like each stream controlling a snake of their own. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, something uh, to work on. Yeah, all right. I you hope you guys are taking these notes. Somebody's down. writing this down, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you guys were writing this down. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, it's geez. lost forever now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, all right, let's jump back into some games here. Um, so we're taking a look at uh, Neater Snake's team page. Four snakes up right now. So, yeah, they, they, they're clearly a powerhouse, but they're also very clearly trying different things. Uh, four active snakes registered. Let's see what else they had on here. Did they make their own snake logo? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, this I is like, great. I think that that they did. That's, that's I'm impressed. Pretty, pretty sweet. That's dedication. Um, Alice, Bob. I'm not sure which is... Uh, we'll, go, we'll go with the team lead here. Um, so let's just jump right into a game here. I'm looking for some live games. I'm going to try refreshing. See if one starts up right away. We're addicted no, no to the live. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's get this one going here. So we have, uh, this was a Swedish Viking snake, Huntail, we talked about. They just dropped out of the top three, and Neater Snake as well. Uh, let's hop into So this game. is the heavily contested match. Yes. Let's get into this. This doesn't let me just watch, does it? Neater no. sucks. She yeah. 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 is blue. Yeah. Oh, down. Oh, are they going to take Neater it? Neater and Swedish Vikings here. Uh, so again, these two are like just duking it out for the top spot right now. Oh, and ooh. Neater takes this one. This one. Yeah, they're they're just taking taking haymakers every other game here. Uh, so let's back so up we, on this one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because here we're going to be able to like actually see like serious yeah. look ahead strategies. So yeah, this is like super high level. Neater has the size advantage. Pruse doesn't, uh, so they can't go left. They don't really want to go down because then, like, the concept of like putting them into check, right? Like, they can't go left because they get killed if they go down. Neater can put them into check again by going down, forcing them to like go right at that point. So instead, they choose to opt out and head to the right. And as soon as they turn right, oh, I guess they could have had. The, uh, but there's they're kind of just between a rock and a hard place right here. So if they go up, Neater goes up. If they would have gone down. That's it's when this, they know it's all over. It's this decision right here. Like if they go down here, Neater loops back around and like cuts them off in the sorry, I'm playing Mike there and cuts them off in the bottom. Um, but if they go up, yeah, Neater knows that they have to go up, go straight for the exit to cut them off, and yeah, forces them. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Oh, we can back this up, and you look at yeah, we've so, got the yeah. pings here on the side. So the the twenty one, the sixteen of the size, the four hundred two, and the three eighty two on the right. I can circle, circle that. I'm, yeah, I'm pointing with my finger, but I have a mouse here. Uh, that's the thing. <laughs> so that that's how long they're spending to calculate their moves. Um, they're both spending the majority of their turns, but as soon as Neater gets here, like okay, half the board doesn't even matter anymore. As soon as they get here, yeah, the, the game wow. is wrapped up. They have like the victory path already figured out. And look at that. Oh, they're look not at even that. thinking 44, about it. 44, 3, 2, just on autopilot at just this point. Just went to sleep, just <sighs> napping. Yeah. 
super cool. Very um, cool. I remember we, we, nice. we pointed that out a few times in the Winter Classic and like other snakes do this, but no snake does it to the like extreme that Neater Snake does it. Uh, so if you ever see the ping drop to one, two, three range, you're in trouble. trouble. You. You're in trouble. Head, head, head home, folks. You know, you're yeah. <laughs> it's over. Uh, cool, cool, cool. I mean, I could just watch games between those two snakes all day. Uh, yeah, that's Got to get on to a couple more here. Might loop right back around to them if we have time again at the end, but uh, let's uh, let's go take a look at some of the other the other snakes contending for those top three spots. Um, so secret, secret snake, snake. yeah, they've been around before. Uh, oh, we have they have a uh, authorized personnel only. Why? Oh shoot, I'm showing this. Okay, no, okay, good, good. We, we cut away from it. No, cut away. This is secret. secret <laughs> so uh, secret. Uh, yeah, it's a team composed between gentlemen Luke and Matt. Studying computer science at like Mosin College, Victoria, BC. Victoria represent, uh, participated in Battlesnake <laughs> since its inception and teamed up to create Secret Snake in 2018. Um, sorry, your, your secret's out. Oh, geez. Um, but yeah, so we, knows. Yeah, we saw them um, at the Winter Classic. They took week two, first place, and they were a finalist in the uh, final uh, championship tournament. Uh, very impressive to play by them. Uh, by just going against the complete heavyweights that are Swedish Vikings. And I guess Swedish Vikings didn't, didn't first. So it was against Nieder. Yeah, Nieder took two first place places. So That's right, it was just, yeah. It was a head-to-head right. head with Nieder and Secret Snake. And uh, yeah, Nieder, Nieder took them down, I remember. Uh, but yeah, still still very impressive. Still definitely a contender for those top spots there. Um, yeah. And yeah, let's take a look at what snakes they have currently registered. Four of them. They clearly have their hosting and language pick, picked out here. They like Azure and uh, C Sharp. Azure. Uh, Azure. Azure. No. Azure. Just, Azure. No. Why? Why? I'm am I sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no you're so right. you're doing your best out here, yeah. and I'm just picking away yeah. at the words that you say. I need. They have like they have like Google Translate. They, I need like Google Pronounce so I can. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and anytime I butcher a word, it just like. Dubs Azure. Over me with the Azure. <laughs> Azure. Azure. Just exactly. dubs it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, someday. Someday. Um, or I mean, I mean maybe, gonna... maybe Amazon uh, Amazon pronounce. Yeah, you never know. know. AOS is around you. Maybe they're listening. Um, waiting for it. Yeah, Let help know. us out. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So let's, uh, should we jump into a game here? Let's jump into a game here. Um, so we're looking at Secret Snake here, and let's see. On Solo is a top five. Let's hop into this one. Wait, this is that is first game live? Created. It's not even getting in there. We're we're in running. Is this like if someone live. made this and they live? live. I'm gonna <laughs> if, if I had start. Is that like okay? Jumping into it. Two snakes just died right away. Bird, bird snakers. snakers. Which is bird snakers? Bird oh, snakers is a relatively new snake but it's 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 pretty high up there i think all right but just uh yeah they, they thought they had a gap there they, they need to calculate it based on that move but uh again not thinking far enough ahead secret snake easily cuts them off and uh takes the victory and now that that's a that's a tough one to program against too because think about your you know your snake calculating all that room that it has down in the bottom region but yeah yeah you just have to factor in the snake hitting the wall there yeah, and it, it's a uh, it's specifically so again the thing that Neater Snake does, which a lot out, most of the top teams are doing, is that that adversarial search, which is like you're you're not only searching your own path and picking out your own best move, but you're like accounting for every possible move the other snakes would make along the way, and that's not an easy thing to to figure out and uh, just like spin up in thirty minutes. Uh, so, um, but it's it's what you need to do to deal with situations like this and uh, compete at the highest level. Um, you, you so, of course, remember all those algorithms from uh, AI, yeah, yeah. right? I mean, I mean, <laughs> most people couldn't do them in 30 minutes. I, I could set that up in 30 Definitely. minutes. Definitely. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I wanted to do that in a tutorial, but they didn't have enough time to book me in. So, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, next next time we do... Cool. Uh, well, you know what? I'll talk to Brad yeah. for you. We'll yeah, get yeah. that set up. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, if it's going to be yeah, in 30 no, seconds, then it's, I mean, it's, how much time do we need? Yeah, sorry. I think my, my mic's cutting out. No, sorry, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's yeah, get back yeah, to the yeah. games. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris, sure, Chris, sure. Monroe, we only have 15 minutes left here. You're just, okay. you're yeah, we don't have a lot time. of time. You're wasting time, Chris. <laughs> uh, I do kind of want to watch one more with uh, Super Snake here. That one was pretty quick. Let's get uh, one more here. 
Oh, this one had I, Jake the Snake. I say we're running out of time, and I'm like, but I want to watch one more game. On um, <laughs> Solo. Uh, yes, on Solo was a top five. Jake the Snake was, I think they were top ten as of last night. Uh, I don't remember Team Positive. They were in third last night. Jake the Snake was? On Solo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. And then uh, Super Snake, who we were just talking about. Uh, let's jump into this. Super Snake definitely favored here. Let's see if anyone can uh, pull off the upset. A lot of tail chasing strategies here. On Solo, really looking like a strong contender. They got that size advantage right now. Turn 250 and the first Ooh, snake just died. Trapped himself there. Oh, and oh, Super Snake cleans nice. up. It's a nice long, yeah, nice long game with no deaths. Just uh, backing him into a corner again. Yeah, on Solo, size advantage. What happened there, though? Yeah, oh, so yeah. yeah, on Solo, they felt safe because they had the size advantage. They turned up there, though. Interesting. Yeah, they, I, yeah, it's just again, it's that thinking far enough ahead thing. Um, Wait, can you go back a little bit? So on Solo could have gone down, I guess, yeah, but maybe they didn't down. have enough room over there. Uh, no, they, like they had room down. Like I feel like like down is the safe move here because you can go okay. down, you can chase Super Snake's tail, you can chase Team Positive's tail. You have lots of room to move from there. Sure, Going yeah. Right, they could go right. But they would win that head to head, uh, but then Super Snake could just go right as well and cut them into their own body. Uh, up, yeah, up was just as doomed as right. But uh, I love yeah, how Secret Snake doesn't. It knows it's too small to go head to head, so it just yeah. kind of blocks yeah. its blocks its exit real quick, and then yeah. just goes on its merry way. Yeah, and then in. continues to clean up here. Yeah, it's trying to get that head to head here. Like it's chasing, it's tracking the the other snake's head, trying to get the collision. Loops back around, forces it there. Oh, and he, uh, yeah. he knows right then. Yeah. Does his ping drop as well, right back there where he... Yeah, good, good call. Let's find out. They're a pretty low ping most of the yeah. time. So he's in the high 40s. So, and so yeah, there. it does drop into the 20s here. Interesting. Just pushing him into... The, just pushing him away, just taking him as much board as he can every time, just moving him up. But it does show you that Secret Snake's uh, setup has lots of room to be running further, deeper algorithms because they're only using like a tenth of the a uh, lot of time that they have to calculate their move like Which is at, true. At, at most um yeah so see if they uh, see if they work with that go from there no yeah. uh, okay <laughs> i wanted to take a quick look at some of the other uh snakes from the veteran division ones that we've seen in other tournaments uh ones that we want to highlight here uh, oh, we should actually just notice that Hermit Colony is no longer in dead last. Moving oh. up to 15th, Hermit oh, Colony. Hermit Colony, is that... Is that Ravioli's know, moved down possibly? to 18th. <laughs> uh, we just want to, we want to highlight that Hermit Colony was in dead last, though. Yes. Definitely uh, dead last. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're trying real hard, moving up. Moving nice work, Aurora. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Yes, but we do have uh, some snakes we want to highlight. Um, we have the Ravioli over here, who was the yeah, winner was of the uh, rookie, rookie tournament uh, from the Winter Classic. Uh, moving up into the veteran category, uh, ready to play with uh, the big snakes big on the snakes. block. I don't, yeah, I don't know what the... <laughs> nice. um, yeah, definitely getting a feel for the, uh, the division right now, though. Uh, but lots of room to improve. Again, we got a week and a half left. Uh, they've had no time for improvement since the Winter Classic. Uh, um, they do have a week and a half left. We're on quarantine. You should be you should be at home working on your snake. Stay home and Anyways, code. Stay, stay home and code. code. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's Ravioli there. That's they are yeah, against a very top tier Boomba, though. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, this yes. is a top tier Boomba for sure. Uh, absolutely. We got the best of the best in here. Yeah. Jake uh, the Snake had... as well, I think. Yeah, I'll pop over to Jake there. Jake's been around for a while now. I think they were, uh, they've were they been at the live event for the last couple of years, I know. Um, I guess this is a new account. It's not showing up in their tournaments. Uh, it always takes guts to make that leap into the veteran category, but, uh, you absolutely. know, props for doing it. Yeah. Uh, the Medusa, being very clear to specify that they are the Medusa. Uh, small talk rocks. They're going to prove it to you. Um, they don't have their Battlesnake registered, so we can't look for that small talk uh, tag on it. But uh, 
Her snake kept running into other snakes, build the real thing. Here comes Medusa, the mythological creature that turns living things into stone. Beware. Nice. Uh, and yeah, they were in the Winter Classic, uh, finalists in the uh, rookie division. Uh, first place in the rookie. Yeah, that's, that's right. They won rookie day one. Then they got bumped into the veteran day two, day three. Uh, they still got to compete in the rookie day one. Uh yeah, I'm remembering that right, right? They, they're like they're the one team yes. that got bumped up after the first first week. That's right. that's right. Yeah, and they have been around to a handful of the live events in the past. I've, I've I remember meeting them in person. They're a fantastic team. Um, yeah, really great to see great them team. here uh, at the Stay Home and Code event. Uh, any other ones to to note here from past events? I guess we'll do a quick quick peek at Huntail and On Solo because they were flirting with the top three uh, within the last 24 hours. Uh, Huntail. Nice. That is a Pokemon we we established. Is that right? I I mean, Eileen? looks. I mean, oh, yeah, I Eileen? don't know. Do you know? No. Yeah. Uh, so why would our, I? Why would we I? We have know? our Gen Z response. What? No. <laughs> hey, I'm a millennial. I swear. Uh, let's take a look at their team here. So yeah, they're working with. They got a Java snake and a Python snake right now. So we'll see which one they're actually tossing into games here. Uh, let's do a quick. We'll, we'll run a quick game here. This is a 72 Turner here. Free for all, checking out Huntail here. See how they do. Just a lot of early deaths here, head to head with Lux. And oh, Huntail Ooh. with a quick victory. Um, right. There's a reason they're up there on the uh, leaderboard. Let's take a quick look at what happened there. Yeah, they just hit the size advantage and yeah, they just head to head. Just came it around, came around. Yeah, you got to include that head to head logic in there. You got to know when you can go for the kills. Also, hmm. pretty sure we are, and if not, we should be tracking kill stats over the course of tournaments. Uh, get a little death board, uh, death, what's it called? Kills leaderboard. Right. We, you need know the some, we need some sort of public shaming. A KD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, yeah. I want to see. Yeah, get that KD. Get that, that KD up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so that's a quick peek at Huntail. Um, quick victory there. And let's take another look at uh, On Solo. We saw them in some of the other games we had here, but this is a the very lazy ladybug. Um, it's 13 Battle Snake. Um, I, when, when we were checking out uh, on Solo's games uh, last night, I noticed a lot of their wins were super aggressive, um, oh. uh, you know, go for the kill strategies. So. so they'd have a high KD, is what you're saying. Yes. Very exciting. Let's watch a game. Yeah, let's get get us in there. Yeah. Oh, Diva. Yeah. Diva, Diva oh, staging. Oh, staging. So, so there, there could be bugs. There could, it's not production yet. It's not on uh, production. <laughs> wait for Diva and, Broad. Yeah. And so <laughs> Son is uh, on. We were just looking at, I imagine. Yes, I'm going to assume that. Uh, all right, let's jump into it. Reducer returns. Diva staging again. Nice uh, 100 turns, no deaths. Diva staging. Very, oh, Stankbird taking out the head to head. Diva Ooh. staging was behind on size there, lost the head to head. And ooh, San takes it. Forces Medusa returns up at the top. Uh, love to see all the head-to-head -head kills. Um, it like, I feel like if we look at like percentage of like reasons for kills or whatever, each Battle Snake tournament has like increased that percentage of head-to-head -head kills. Uh, uh, just because teams are getting better, they're knowing what to program for, they're knowing what to look for. Uh, right. So that's cool to see. Uh, but yeah, what happened here exactly? Uh, they're exactly equal length. So they're both going to shy away from that. Yeah. Medusa returns those left. I guess they, yeah, that's just the wrong call right there. You got to go down. That's where all the space right. is. Um, I mean, I guess they they figured that San could have gone to cut them off down there. But same thing up top. Yeah, tough decision, I'm sure. Uh, what kind of time did they use there? They're thinking real hard there. But uh, no. Can you can you go back to when St Diva uh, died in the bottom right there? Uh, yes, it'll take. This, this is something I always only see in veteran um, from oh, my memory. Anyway, is that uh, did, they, did they did they jut in? Well, yeah, exactly. They jut yeah. in when 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 snakes are following their own tail, and there's a really narrow window for a snake to come in and, and kill it with a head to head. Yeah. Um, the yeah, veteran yeah. snakes wow. tend to know yeah, yeah. when to jut in. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you're if you're if you're writing just a pretty defensive strategy, you're like, oh, there's so much so much tail danger over there. Let's not even bother getting in there. But you know that it does work. You go and you get the kill. Space is free now, and free uh, you get 
Yeah, and you're getting those kill stats too, getting that KD up. Getting that KD uh, up. <laughs> Which nobody can uh, see. <laughs> but we care. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's, uh, I think we're going to wrap up the veteran division here. We have five minutes left, and we wanted to do a bit of a spotlight in the last division we have here. This is the sponsor division. Uh, this has only been up and running for a little while now, so I think we're still waiting for teams to trickle in here. Uh, but this is teams... Uh, yeah, so I, I don't think there's any games in it yet either because there's only, I think, the one snake. Yeah, uh, oh, Team Schneider, Schneider Electric, Electric. And us. Along with Battlesnake Official. Uh, so no rating right now. The arena is currently paused. But if the company you work for or some organization wants to get involved, uh, wants to you know, come and sponsor the, uh, the food bank uh, and wants to make a Battlesnake and uh, duke it out for for uh, glory in the uh, sponsor league uh, snake pit. Uh, this in, is the in, place to do in it. In the tech community. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so again, uh, you can contact us from this page here. Again, this, this is play.battlesnake.com. On There's like a link on the homepage that takes you to the stay home and code. And this is down in the division section. So you can do that there. And I'm again, noting that Schneider Electric is the favorite to win now. That, absolutely. All signs yeah. are pointing, pointing that direction. <laughs> Uh, and I've been doing this so far, but we'll do, do a little shout out to them here for being the sner first snake to get in the uh, sponsor category. Uh, they're specializing in electrical equipment, HQ'd in France. Uh, they've offered, uh, I didn't know that they were based out of France. I knew about their Victoria office, but uh, I'm actually, I'm learning as I'm reading things out as well. Fantastic. Um, they Having do, uh, you're learning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. uh, three phase power meters, edge and cloud based software, enable customers to manage their energy and power to save both money and the earth. Fantastic. Yay. Life is on with Team Schneider Electric. Nice. Uh, fantastic. And yeah, they got one snake up right now. Uh, again, no games played yet because this category is just getting up and running. Uh, but please, if you know of anyone, any companies, your own company that wants to make a snake and wants to do something good, uh, send them this way and uh, get them into the sponsor link over here. Or just give, a sh give us a shout in the Twitch chat. Give us a shout on Twitter. Give us a shout anywhere. We'll, we'll reach out to you and we'll, we'll get that going. Speaking of the Twitch chat, they were just asking uh, when your tutorial is going to be, Curtis. Um, yeah, there's, it's scheduling is real tight. Uh, oh, yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll we'll figure something out. Um, yeah, sure. he's got a he's got a schedule pencil it in between sessions of Animal Crossing. So yeah, yeah we've got uh, a lot yeah, of yeah. turnips to sell. So <laughs> really busy. <laughs> Uh, Chris, I don't know if I told you this yet, but I made uh, four million bells on the stock market. Uh, yeah, this, I know you, wow. you. You posted. Oh, did I, did I not tell you that yet? Did you, oh. did you already tell us that multiple oh, times? Oh, jeez. I don't even know um, what that means, and I'm I'm proud of you. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. Yeah. Uh, should we move this Twitch stream into the Animal Crossing stream now? Yeah, can, we'll just we'll just, just <laughs> merge it all in. Uh, Chris, stay on topic here. Jeez. Right. Oh, sorry. Geez. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, file <laughs> snake. Okay. So I think we're wrapping things up here in the last couple of minutes. Uh, the one thing we do want to mention while we're while we're still here uh, is that Snake Pit Live is going to be on for a couple more times. We're on Tuesdays at five thirty and Saturdays at ten a.m. This is Pacific time. So if you're Eastern time, that's eight thirty and uh like one o'clock and one o'clock yeah that's amsterdam time that is uh what do we say there five uh, nine yeah. hours so five six seven uh two can... what math what? five thirty you had seven and then two so two thirty two thirty a.m right this is the kind of great math you'll be able to see it. it's two it's two thirty <laughs> tune in to curtis's tutorial in amsterdam and then for the 10 right. a.m. one, yeah, it'd be 7 p.m. Right. Oh, and we, and we have a spe uh, surprise uh, special guest on Saturday as well. Mm, oh, that's right. that's right. That's right. We'll need another box for us all to fit in. Yeah. Kit, how do we? How do you? How do we get one of those? How does that New. Work? We're Brady bunching. Brady More boxes. <laughs> uh, all right, and I guess I'll do one. Uh, one other mention for the next event up here. Uh, so you can tune in tomorrow at 4 o'clock PST, 7 o'clock EST. Uh, Brandon Brown is doing another developer tutorial. Uh, you'll find it right here on the Battlesnake official Twitch channel. Uh, he's going over the start JavaScript starter snake. So if you're still looking to get into Battlesnake or know of anyone that wants to, get them to tune in tomorrow. Uh, that'll get them up and running and competing in the tournament. Uh, and on, honestly, about... just like the, the best way to get into like coding and web development in general. If you know anybody who's interested in like even just building apps, this is a great way to get started. So it's not just um, 
you know, specific to, you know, programming a battle snake, this is going to let you set up a web server. So, um, yeah. and get going. So yeah, the, the, the things you learn to get your snake up and running are like, like super applicable in every like web dev job you'll ever see. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's all the time we have today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in um, and hope to see you hope to see you at all of our events, but hope to see you again for Snake Pit Live Saturday morning at 10 o'clock PST, 1 o'clock EST. I'm Curtis. Thanks for joining. Chris. Chris. Aileen. We practiced that so well. Uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you guys next time.